guys, welcome to My Little Paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah, and today we're gonna to be painting this Unicorn Llama, one of my favorites, so much fun. I hope you enjoy this process. Have a good time. Remember, you can mix your colors. You don't have to do it exactly like Miss Sarah, right? Because this is your masterpiece, not mine. Alrighty, so we're gonna get started with a couple brushes. We have a large flat, and I have a small flat, or you can use a round brush and I also have a detail brush, okay? First things first, we always want to rinse our brush in water, right? It loosens up the bristles, we make sure it's clean, tap off the water, okay? And I, I like to keep some water in my bristles. It helps with acrylic paint so it's not too stiff, okay? And we're gonna start with our background on our llama. So as you can see, I have it all traced on my canvas ready to go. And I'm going to now mix my favorite color for my background. You can decide what color you want to do. You don't have to do it just like Miss Sarah. You have lots of colors to choose from. One thing I like to do is paint my background the same color as my llama's ears. Okay, so whatever color you choose to do for your llama's ears, let's do that for our background, yeah? All right, let's get started. I'm going to mix a little bit of my red here with some white. For my background color, I want a really light pink. So I'm having to mix a lot of white with a tiny bit of red. See that? It's a lot of white and a little bit of red. And let's just start putting that color around our llama that's traced on our canvas. And I didn't mix it really well, right? I left it kind of swirly. And if you notice, that makes it a little fun while you're doing your background. You can see all the fun streaks showing up. Probably see it better when I come over here. See how I have low lights? Oh, I have some black in my brush. How did that happen? <gasps> That's such a bummer. No worries. If you do that like Miss Sarah, you can just cover it up. I think I might be pulling some black from our last recording. I'm thinking that's what's happening. I think it's on my background right there. So I'm going to wipe that off. Oh boy, it's okay. If that happens, let it dry a minute. Okay, and you can come back and cover it up. All right, so we're gonna keep rolling here. I'm gonna move up to the top and let that dry for a minute. But you can see how it's kind of streaking, right? A background color and my white and my red that I've mixed together, I have, didn't mix too much because I really wanted to let those streaks show in my background, okay? And you don't have to go as fast as Miss Sarah's going here. You can take your time. In fact, we encourage you to take your time, okay? You do not need to go as quickly as Miss Sarah. You can pause the video, slow down, and take your time. All right, let's see if I can cover that black now. Oh, there it goes. There it goes, just cover it right up. I think there may have been some black on the back of my board there from another recording we just did. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna go around my llama here. See how I'm taking my brush and swirling it around my llama? Kind of using my wrist to go around each little thing there, each little curl. Our unicorn llama's fun. I love them. So cute. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go all the way around here, around those ears. This is where you do wanna slow down because your llama's white, unless you decide to paint that llama a different color, of course, but Miss Sarah's llama's white so I wanna slow down as I go around my ears. So I don't paint inside my ears, right? I just don't want to make that white llama pink right now. I'm trying to keep my llama white. So as I go around, I go a little slower so I don't paint inside them. All right, there we go. And you're gonna paint right off the canvas. You can reach around and paint the sides of your canvas while you're at it. And the top and the bottom, you can paint them pink or whatever color you chose to do for your background. 
There we go. So you have your background color in. Super cute. Love that. Okay, we're going to rinse our brush really good and let that background dry for a minute. Okay, and let's switch to a smaller brush, right? A smaller flat brush or a round brush, whichever you choose. We're going to paint the inside of the ear, so we want a brush that's a little bit smaller. So I'm taking my small flat, and remember, I'm painting my ears the same color as my background, right? So I'm going to come in here with that same color that I've already mixed on my, my plate, and I'm painting the inside of the ears that color. So maybe you painted your background purple or turquoise, right? And if you did that, you can just paint the inside of these ears that same color. All right, I'm gonna try really hard to just stay inside those little lines, right? And if you by chance go out of the lines, that's kind of an easy fix. You can just paint it white. I didn't paint my llama white. I leave it the color of the canvas, which is kind of fun, right? Now, I like to add a little shading to my ear, and this is kind of tricky, so you wanna pay close attention. I'm gonna use this small flat brush and put a tiny bit of my red on the corner like that. And then if you notice, I brushed on my plate here and you can see how one side is a little darker, right? So we're going to face the darker side on the outside of the ear and go up the side of the ear with that darker shade. This is super tricky, okay? This is super tricky. So you can try it or if you want to just take a little tiny line brush or detail brush, you can do that instead and go along the edge with that brush if that's a little bit easier for you, okay? Because this is tricky. We just like to teach our artists something new every time, no matter the age. If you're brave enough to give it a try, you can. And even if you aren't quite there yet, you're not quite ready to try that, that's perfectly okay. You can work on your line work. And that is tricky too, right? That line work takes practice. So you can work on your line work and get that edge outlined with a darker shade. So both options are perfect. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. So it's really clean now, okay? And I'm going to now put my cheeks in. Do you see these little cheeks right here next to my nose? And I'm using that light pink for my background again. If you did a different color, go ahead and mix some pink for the cheeks. Or you can match the cheeks to your ears and your background. You can do purple or blue, whatever color you want of those cheeks. I'm just going to lighten mine up a little bit though. My white and my red. I want a really light pink for my cheeks. But you can do any color you want. If you prefer not to do that white, light pink, you don't have to, okay? You decide on that one. All right, we're gonna go around these little cheeks here, just like this, going all the way around, right? Okay, let's get a little more on my brush for the other one. There we go, I'm doing it a little darker so you can see it better. Started out a little bit too light, I think. So I made mine slightly darker. There we go, go all the way around. These cheeks are trickier than they look. Just staying into that oval shape is tricky. So you just can do your best, right? It's gonna be cute no matter what. I love this little llama. Go around that one more time. Make sure it's nice and covered and smooth. We want to brush out any little drips. And I'm going to rinse my brush again, making sure it's really clean. Now I haven't started my horn yet because I want to make sure my background's dry. Mine is dry, okay? So I'm going to take a minute now to start putting my horn in. and. We're going to build our colors all the way up. And if you would like to change the pattern of your colors going up your horn, you can. You don't have to do it just like Miss Sarah, okay? So I'm gonna take some white and mix it with each of my colors. My first color is gonna be purple. So 
I'm mixing some white and purple together. You can see that? Mixing the white and purple together. And we're gonna take this flat brush and just create a smile shape on the top. Okay, fill it in on the bottom there. There we go. Curve it off on the side. Now, if you need a smaller brush, you can use it. This is kind of a little tricky with a big brush, huh? So you wanna make sure your brush fits good. Okay. Now our next color is turquoise for me. One thing we wanna try and do when we're doing our horn is not mix our colors together if we can help it. And that's kind of tricky to do. So take your time. The reason I'm gonna go ahead and do turquoise next is turquoise and purple are good friends, okay? So I'm not too worried about them mixing together. I'm not too worried about it. If they kind of come together a little bit, they're friends and they'll be perfectly fine, right? But just wanna make sure I didn't paint my purple up high enough right there. It's okay, we can go back and put it on there. Just gonna wrap it around and you're creating this rectangle shape with a little bit of a curve. I like to call it a smile on the top and a smile along the bottom. See that, how we're curving it? When we curve it like that, it helps it look round. So I like to curve it. So I have a little bit of purple here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in carefully because I don't wanna mix them too much here. So our corner, our sides right here, curve. So you're doing kind of a sideways smile shape on the side of your horn. Ooh, that's tricky. And just try and see if you can get that curve going on the side of your horn. Okay, now my next color above turquoise is green and I'm gonna mix some white and green together too for this one, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna come up here and put my white and my green mixture on the next one up. Again, if you wanna change it and not do the same color pattern that Miss Sarah's doing, you can. There we go. Go around here. Okay, now once I'm done with the green, I'm gonna stop painting for a minute because the next color is yellow and I want my yellow to be really bright, okay? So if my yellow mixes with my green, it just won't be as bright. So I'm gonna stop for a minute. Okay, and let this, we're gonna skip that one. I know, it's kind of crazy, but we're gonna skip the yellow for a minute and I'm mixing some white and red together for my very top one. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one. I wanted it darker than my background color so it'll stand out, right? Because my background's pink so I made the very top one a little bit of a hot pink instead of a light pink color because I want it to show up. All right, let's give it just a break here. I know we haven't finished the horn we're gonna let it dry for a minute. You'll be really glad you did, I promise. Then you won't mix your yellow. Okay, so now we're gonna do the nose. And I'm going to make a really light gray for my nose by just barely dipping my brush in some black and mixing it with white. You just wanna do a tiny bit of black because black takes over really fast. It's such a strong color that before you know it, you will have a really dark gray. And I wanted mine pretty light. You can decide how dark or light you want yours. If you wanna change that, you can totally change it. You can make it darker or you could even change the color of the nose. You don't have to do this um, braid color like Miss Sarah, right? You can do any color you want. I'm gonna come around here there's any adults or older artists maybe painting this, if you notice, I did a little darker on the bottom of the mouth right there, or the nose. All right, we're gonna come around. 
So you can either take a um, line brush and just add a little darker shade there, or you can float like I did which is I just put a touch of black on the corner like this with my brush as I was going and I blended that in, see that? But that is not something we really teach our little artists quite yet, but if you want to try it, I, we love to see what you guys do. Okay, so I'll go all the way around this nose, fill it in, make sure we have a good fill in there. Perfect. Now I'm going to rinse my brush really good. Okay, and now I think I'm ready to do my yellow. That should be pretty dry. Once you've done the nose, you should be good to do that yellow. So I'm going to now mix some white and my yellow together. Okay, get that nice light yellow. So it's super bright. And let's go ahead and paint. And see if I don't mix it with my green and red, it's a really bright yellow. Just like that. Okay, love that so much. It does so much. Okay, so let's rinse our brush. And we're gonna let that horn dry for just a minute. And let's outline our llama, right? Well, I think actually we should do the eyes. I'm gonna do the eyes before I outline. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's do our eyes here. Wait, nope, nope, I don't wanna do the eyes. <laughs> oh man, Miss Sarah was right the first time. We wanna outline. Okay, my goodness, here we go. Just, oh, you guys, Miss Sarah's brain. Let's see, we're making, making sure we have enough gray, right? We want enough gray to outline. I'm outlining with gray. You may want to outline your llama a different color. And if you do, please go for it. You do you, okay? Do whatever you would like to do with that outline. I'm gonna go ahead now though with my gray. It matches my nose color. Right, and I'm using my line brush. I'm using my line brush to go all the way around my llama ear. Just like that. Okay. Now when you are doing this outlining, you really want to make sure you have enough water on your brush. Okay make it all the way around. All the way around this llama. If you have enough water, your paint should go on nice and smooth, right? So make sure you add enough water to that paint. Okay, we're gonna go up this ear. All the way around that ear. Ooh, outlining's tricky, guys. Outlining's tricky. Just want to do your best, right? Do your very best, okay? I'm gonna come all the way around here. And keep following it around. Ooh, nice curls. I added a little bit more black to mine so you can see it better. I felt like it was just slightly too light there. Made it a little tricky to see it. There we go. Come all the way down, just following that curve. Nice. All of these little curves are just smiles, right? We're just curving our wrist and smiling all the way down. It's a happy llama. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to might darken this one up a little bit. Oh, it's about the same. That's good. Okay. 
We're gonna follow this one around here with that ear and then start adding our smile all the way down, huh? Now remember, if you accidentally get anything in your white on your llama, just take a little bit of your white paint, okay? And you can paint right over it, no problem. No problem at all. And you could even paint your llama white if you want to. I love to leave the canvas showing on paintings. I love the texture and the fun. Gives it just some personality. All right, I think we got it all. Did we get it all outlined? Looks so good. Okay, love it. So cute. So rinse your brush out when you're done with that outlining. If you notice anything where you need some more white, see I have right there or right here on my llama, I got some pink on it. See how I just take my little brush and put some white on it. Super easy to just cover that if you want to. Okay. All right. So I smeared some paint. So I covered it with my pink. Oh my goodness, we're about done. It's the cutest little llama. I love it so much. Okay. Let's see. We just want to make sure your horn is dry before we do this next part, okay? Because you're going to add some curls to cover up your horn right here, but you just want to make sure it's dry before you do that, okay? So what I like to do is just come here and do three little humps, okay? Just three little humps. One, two, three, all right? Three little humps. And then after you do your third hump, you can do a little one and let it kind of fade out right there. Okay, and this one, just let it fade out. Just like that, okay? And that purple right here, we can paint some white on there in a minute, cover it up. But I like to add this little fur for fun. I just think it's so cute, all right? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of curls over here under the nose. Okay, so we're gonna add little humps here. You can do it any way you want. I did one, two, three little curls like that. And then this last one, I brought it up and down just like that. Okay, just to give it some personality. So we can come over here now and add another one maybe closer to the nose. One, two, three, right? Three little curls right there. Now you can add more or don't add them at all. That is your option. You get to choose on that one. But now I'm gonna do my eyes. What kind of eyes are you going to do? I'm gonna do smile shape eyes with eyelashes, okay? You can do any kind of eye you want. You can decide how you want to do it, but um, my eyes are going to be on each side of my nose right here. I'm right-handed, so I like to do my left eye first and then come over and do my right eye, okay? So here we go. I'm just going to do a smile shape. Come up away from the nose just a little bit, wherever you feel comfortable, right? And I'm going to swoop that smile shape. And then I'm gonna come over and do it on this side too. Just try and line them up the best we can, huh? Okay. All right, and then we're gonna swoop that smile shape as well. Just like that. Smile on each side. I'm gonna make this one just a little bit higher. Make it a deeper, a deeper swoop there. Right? Okay. Just to kind of match them up. That's tricky to do, right? Now, once you have that, we're gonna add those eyelashes. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here 
I put my little eyelashes in. I just did little smiles, two little smiles for mine. Like this, one smile, and then another one underneath. Okay, now I'm gonna come over and match it over here. Smile, and then another one just underneath. Good. You can thicken them if you want, kind of bring them together like that. Or you can leave them apart. That's kind of your decision. I do them different every time. Every time I paint lashes, I kind of switch it up depending on what I'm feeling. I really want this to come out to a point, so here we go, like that. Okay, one thing you can do too with your lashes, if you feel like you want them a little more pointy, you just put some white on there and you can't even tell that you changed anything. All right, so now we're going to do this nose. Okay, and the nose is a Y shape with a line under it. So what I'm going to do is start here with my Y shape, okay? Just wherever you feel comfortable. Just create a Y. Well, I guess we're doing a V first, right? You're creating your V shape, and then we'll add the swoop for the Y. And then right underneath, you're gonna go add the tail. Ooh, and I curve it a little bit and then add my little smile underneath and you can make it a perfect smile or kind of a crooked smile. Just whatever you're feeling on that, huh? Okay, now once you do that, I like to come up and just widen this corner a little bit. Just curve it out a little, make it a little bit bigger on the ends kind of a raindrop shape almost. All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There it is. Love it. That's so cute. So cute. All right, guys. You're just about done here. You're going to just add your little highlights, okay? So we're gonna come up to our horn and you're gonna add your highlights to your horn. I put one here on the top and then I add one just underneath each little curve here. It's a smile shape highlight, right? I come along here and I'll do one more just right here along the top of the purple. And this is where you can come back if you have a little purple showing in your hair and just add that white to it and boom, it's gone. Just like that. And then inside the ears, I put a white streak there and one right here as well on each side and I'm curving with the ear. I'm gonna do just one on top of the nose, just like that. Love it. Isn't that the cutest? All right, one last thing you guys can do if you want. Is you can take the dark shade of your paint and outline your horn. This is totally optional, okay? If you just love the way your um, llama looks without outlining, then just let it be, okay? This is an extra thing you can do if you want. It just kind of, you can widen it. It's up to you. I like to go through and just shape it a little bit. With each color. I'm gonna use green now. Just go right up the edge with my green. Okay. We'll go right around here. All right, 
do our yellow. There we go. And then the last one is our hot pink color, right? Right along the top. Not a huge difference, but it's a little bit if you want to do that, okay? Just a fun option for you if you want to try it and give it a little bit of extra light to it. A little bit of a pop when you outline it. Totally optional. You guys, last thing, we're going to add some sparkle to our horn. Use the back of your brush. Okay, dip it in some white, get that good chocolate chip there. And you can just dot a couple of these fun little, I call them sparkles, but really it's just dots of white paint, but it brightens it up so much. And then sign your name, right? As artists, we wanna show everyone how proud we are of our work and find a special little place to put our name I think I put one over here, but I'm gonna do over here this time. Here we go. All right. Sarah, you can put your initials or your name. You decide how you want to sign it. But make sure you sign it and then tag us so we can see your masterpiece. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.